Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, we're joining the Twilio Hackathon event and building a COVID-19 informer. What we'll do is use the Twilio API to automatically send updates to people who sign up about COVID-19 in their states. We'll build this all using Wayscript and the Twilio API. Let's get started. Here's the notification system that we'll build in this tutorial. We have a form and we supply a contact name, the state that we live in, and then our phone number to the form. And then when we click submit, we should be signed up to receive automatic daily updates powered by Wayscript. These text messages will be supplied daily using the Twilio API and give information about COVID-19 cases. We can build this using Wayscript.com. If you haven't heard of Wayscript before, it's just a rapid development platform that allows you to quickly stand up your own apps. We'll start out by clicking on create a new script. If you don't have a Wayscript account, it's completely free to sign up. Now we'll call this one COVID-19 Informer and click on create. The way that Wayscript works is that we're able to pull in modules from the left that act kind of like building blocks to create our scripts. Like I said, this speeds up the process because we worry less about the integrations and more about actually developing what we want to. In this example, we had a form that a user submitted. So what we can do is go up to Packages and type in Form. We get this form trigger that we can import and drag in to our workflow. A trigger in Wayscript is just something that activates all the modules underneath it. So in this example, whenever someone completes a form, it activates all the modules that we'll place here. This form is customizable. We'll say COVID-19 Informer and receive text messages from Twilio when submitted. We need to gather some information about the person filling out this form. That way we can send them a customized Twilio message. We need their name. So we'll put in name. Text input is fine, so we'll leave that as is. We'll add a form element. And this one will be state. We'll create this one as a selector and we can add in options for the states. Finally, we'll need a number that we can text them on. So we'll say phone number, a text input is fine, and then let's put a placeholder that looks like the value that we want. In this example, we're using an 11 digit number. Cool, so now we have our form, and let's save this information to a Google Sheet. We'll click off, and we'll go back up to where we typed in form, and type in Google Sheets. We'll again import this one, and drag it underneath our form trigger. We'll write this information, so we'll change the mode from read to write. We'll choose the Google Sheet that we want, and then we'll choose the variables that we want to write. The variables that we'll write in this example will be the inputs from that form. So we'll drag input one into the first blank, input two into the second blank, and then input three into the third. Now whenever someone submits that form, their information will be added to this Google Sheet. Now that we have access to the individual's information, let's send them a customized text message using Twilio. We'll add another function by clicking this Add Function button. If we want to send a text message daily, we can click on Add Trigger, and then this time, let's use the Time Trigger. We'll import this and select it. We'll leave it as the default, which is run this script every day. Now everything below this Time Trigger will be activated daily. Our first step is to read in from Google Sheets, that information that we added. So we'll drag in a Google Sheets module, we'll select it, and this time, let's read the file. When we do that, we see that we can import the columns with their information. So we'll import all three. Next, let's use Python to get information from an API about COVID-19. We'll pull in a Python module, and we'll select Edit Code. The Python code that we'll use for this tutorial is already posted on GitHub. So we'll just go there and grab it. Let's get API get process. So what this is doing is calling an API and getting information about states and COVID-19 cases. Then we're passing that as a struct, which we can do by using this variables dictionary to our other modules in our workflow. Once we run this, we see that variable is created, data to pass, and we'll use this later on. We can click on done editing. Since we need to send messages to multiple people in that Google Sheet, we can use a loop. We'll do this by typing in loop and dragging this module under our Python module. The values that we want to iterate over are each of those values in the columns that we imported. 
So column zero will be our first one. This creates column zero item. We'll do the same thing for column one and column two. For each iteration, let's send a text message. We can do that by finding the information using another Python module and dragging it into our loop. For this one, we have some Python code posted as well. All we're doing in this one is finding the individual state and then only pulling that data from our info to send, which we created in the last Python step, into the information to send to the user. So all we're doing basically is just filtering the data to only send data about that individual state to them. The last thing that we need to do is use the Twilio API that we've already integrated. So we'll click off of our Python setup and then type in Twilio. Importing this and dragging it into our loop, we'll place it under the Python module. To use Twilio, you'll need to sign up for their API. The first time that you use Twilio on Wayscript, you'll have to connect this API into Wayscript. That way you can use the functionality from here. The phone number that we want to send a message to is the column two item. So we can pull column two item into the phone number input. So now each iteration will get their phone number from the Google Sheet and then iterate over those, finding the state and sending them a message. The body of the text message will just be the data that we pull using this Python script. And that's all we need to do to create this COVID-19 notification system. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions or comments about this script or anything else, please let us know and we'll get back to you. Until next time.